Hey everybody, it's Amy Schneider. I'm out here in this fancy hotel, just living my glamorous game show champion lifestyle. Uh, but you know, I often think about the fact that, you, you know, when I was a kid, I quite literally could not have imagined that uh, a trans woman could have a lifeline like mine, um, that a trans woman could, could be put in fancy hotels, could be, um, you know, celebrated and beloved or, or whatever, or, you know, just for being on a game show or that a trans woman could be on TV. At least, you know, they could be on TV as long as they were in, like, a Jerry Springer episode called Oops, I Married a Tranny, or something like that. Um, but the fact that, you know, I've been able to have the success that I've had is due entirely to the courage of, of people that came before me, but, you know, trans people in particular, but the entire LGBT community, the people that have been fighting for us for decades in conditions that I, I could not have faced. I couldn't have done it, you know? If I had, you know, been faced with the way things used to be, I would have just stayed in the closet and, and suffered. I wouldn't have had the courage to come out and stand up for, uh, for, for, for my rights, for our community. I, I couldn't have done it. Um, and if it wasn't for the people that did have the courage that did go out there, that did fight, that did die at times um, for their right to be themselves and to be celebrated for it and to not be ashamed. Um, you know, none of, none of, you know, not only would I not have been able to, you know, win money on Jeopardy, I wouldn't have been able to, to be out. I wouldn't have been able to, you know, get out of that closet and end that suffering. I, you know, I, Everything about my life has been made possible by people who did things that I can't imagine, that I, I don't think I could have done. Um, you know, and even as, as, as I look at the, the younger generation and find myself at times being like, oh, you don't know how lucky you have it, I, how much more I imagine uh, people who are older than me must look at my uh, naive 40-year-old self and be like, you don't know how easy you've got it. And I, I respect that. I know that I don't know how easy I've got it. I know that... It's only because of the efforts of people that came before me uh, throughout the LGBT community that, that I can be here. And I'm so grateful that, to them. And I'm so grateful that, you know, through this, through the position I found myself in, I, I hope that I'm paying that forward to some extent. And I hope that I'm making things easier for the generations coming after me. Um, so, yeah, you know, I just wanted to, to take some time to, to pay that respect. You know, the heroes of our movement, you know, a lot of their names will never be known. None of them will ever be honored as much as they deserve. But they are truly heroes, you know, not just, you know, American heroes, they're, they're heroes in, in the history of humanity. Um, and, you know, I at least, I've never forgotten that and I never will forget that. And I'll never stop being grateful to those who put me in the position I am today. Uh, thank you all so much, and you know, yeah. I hope to, I hope to carry on the the bravery that that you all have taught me.